hey, it's Trojan. This is going to be my deck profile for Sacred Beast and DDD. So the way I'm going to go through this, I'm kind of, I broke it up between like um, DDD cards, Sacred Beast cards, and just kind of generic support in the deck to kind of help it go a little bit smoother. We'll start with DDD. Um, so we have one Orthos. <laughs> um, hmm. We'll put it all out. No, I'll explain as I go through. Orthos. Orthos is going to be our searchable spell in trap removal. You're able to target one card and then, or one DD card and one other card, spell or trap to destroy it. And then we have Kaiser. Kaiser works as our Dark Lord. When it's Pendulum Summoned, it negates all effects on field. Is that what it says? All face of cards your opponent controls have their effects negated when it's Pendulum Summoned. And you can pop two back row to have it attack two more times. We run two Copernicus. I just bumped uh, Ragnarok back up to two, so two Ragnarok. I'm running three Slimes, just bumped it up to three. Three Kepler and three Slime and three Lamia. And then that's gonna be for the monster cards. Then we run one Swamp King and three Contract with the Gate Searchers. And so often, more often than not, I want at least three, three DDDs in hand, and then two Sacred Beast cards and one generic, but I have a, a lot of generic, so I, I get the generics pretty often, which is perfectly fine because it's okay if I don't have a lot of the Sacred Beast cards because the Sacred Beast play into DDDs very well, um, which I'll show later allows for like synergy. I'll put these aside. I just took out Burfermat actually, because I don't I don't really have combos with Burfermat right now. And then for Sacred Beast, we run three Spirit Gates. This allows us to search Hammond and or any card that lists Hammond or the Sacred Beast. Uh, one Cerulean Skyfire, one Fallen Paradise. This one allows Hammond to neg um, well. This one negates Hammond gets switched into defense position. You can negate any spell or trap. And this is our Pot of Greed and pr provides protection for Hammond. We run three Dark Beckoning Beast, two Chaos Summoning Beast, and two Hammond. I've considered putting in more um, Sacred Beast stuff. Like I even, I am ordering, um, they have a level five Sacred Beast card that lets the, you tribute that card and special summon any Sacred Beast. You can't uh, go into battle phase or you can't attack during the turn you do that. Um, so I'll consider what I want to do with that after. And then there's this trap card that gets some added effects like... Um, you gain attack each time, or you gain life points every time a, a monster is normal to special summon from your opponent. Uh, two Sacred Beasts, you negate the activated effects of monsters your opponent controls, and then three, any monsters sent to the opponent's graveyard are banished instead. And then once per turn, if you control level 10, you can add one continuous trap from your graveyard. So it's not bad for a card that's currently not in my deck right now. Uh, just got it. Uh, and then we'll put these up, keep it going. And then we have our generic support. We run two Ash, one Dimensional Shifter. Excuse me. Um, <coughs> pardon me. I um have Red Eyes Fusion in this deck, which is very funny. Oh wait, this is right. When I'm I'm looking at Red Eyes Fusion, like this isn't how you summon DPE. I just got a Dragoon actually, and right now I have Dragoon in main deck. So I want run Red Eyes, Red Eyes Fusion to summon Dragoon. I run one Ghost Mourner Chill. Um, then I have. Red Eyes and Dark Magician for Dragoon. One Nibiru. I run one Foolish, one One for One, one Call by the Grave. I run Pendulum Xyz. This card's really good for, uh... This is at an angle. Pendulum Xyz is really good for uh, DVDs because it allows you to target two cards in your Pendulum Zone and special summon them. You can choose a level of one of the two cards and make them both that level, and then you pen Xyz summon. So oftentimes I'll do this, go into a level 8, um, or rank 8 Xyz attack, then go Zeus. I run 2 triple attack talents, 2 allures, 3 parries. Parries really good, allows me to, um, you pay half your attack, which is, or half your life, which is actually pretty costly, because I run DDD, you already pay a lot anyway. But you can add any monster that has 0 attack. You have the normal summon, otherwise its effects are negated. And then I, for traps, I have 1 Gravedigger, Solemn Warning, 
breakthrough skill. I just recently added this skill. It negates one monster that your opponent controls. And then during your turn, except the turn's card since the graveyard, you can banish this card from the graveyard to target one face of monster your opponent controls to target its and negate its effect. So I think this is good for um, negating effects. Um, I added this to give me the opportunity to chain off of it if ever there's like stuff like droplets or anything like that. And I have three imperm. I kind of want. Oh wait, let me. And then three imperm. <laughs> I kind of want to run like maybe floodgates or paleozoic. I wouldn't mind having cards that flip the opponent's cards face down because then then they can't use them for link materials and stuff like that. And then we'll look at extra deck. One Almirage. So actually, this is 16 cards in my extra deck. Um, just because I just pulled Almirage out. Okay, at first it wasn't in my deck. It was in my deck, took out Almirage, and I added it back in. Um, so Almirage, Nightmare Unicorn. It's, I'm thinking of taking out Unicorn. I have High King, Gus, <laughs> DDD, Gus, High King, Alexander, Gilgamesh, Zeus, Genghis, Krashi, Proxy. These both have a special effect if they're if you fuse it to summon a monster. This one special summons a level four or lower from your graveyard. This one special summons a level or special summons a monster with one thousand attack or less from your hand. So depending on what the plays are, I would like to have either or. Then we have Gus King Alexander, Crystal Wing, Siegfried, High King Genghis, Kali Uga. I love Kali Uga when it's XC summoned. For the rest of the turn, all card effects, all, all, all other cards and their effects cannot be activated on the field. Um, Oracle, Dragoon, and Verte. Um, so let's see. One thing I feel like I'm kind of currently missing is more generic uh, link support. I have Verte, which is good. I can go into Verte from Sacred Beast or Cross Sheet Proxy, stuff like that. But uh, I would love to have more, honestly. And Nightmare doesn't really do it for me. I don't like that it's uh only when it's Link Summon doesn't really I can't really do anything on the other person's turn. At least with Verge I go into Dragoon. Dragoon lets me play on the other person's turn. Um and Cross Sheep and Proxy give me like combo extenders. So um that's my deck. So with Sacred Beast and DDD, they actually have a lot of synergy because uh Spirit Gates lets you Retrieve continuous spells when Hammond's on the field, or when a level 10 monster's on the field. It also lets you discard one card to special summon a fiend monster with zero attack. And Kepler has zero attack, Copernicus has zero attack. Um, so that's really good. Um, I'm going to show the combos first before I go into playing a hand. So if I have, let's say I have... Dark Beckoning Beast in hand, and I have uh, Chaos Summoning Beast. That's a two-card combo, right? But because Spirit Gates lets me uh, search Hammond or any card that lists Hammond, I can get combo off of uh, the, either of these cards in the, in the spell. So you normal summon Dark Beckoning Beast, search Chaos Summoning Beast, or actually, I, I, that's incorrect. You search um, Spirit Gates, the continuous spell. Activate Spirit of the Gates to search uh, Hammond. And then, because uh, you already have Chaos Summoning Beast in hand, you normal summon Chaos Summoning Beast. Tribute Chaos Summoning Beast for Hammond. And then this goes in the graveyard. For p different plays, you may want to uh, take this opportunity to use Spirit Gates second effect to discard a card to special summon this. So you have both cards in the field. You may go want to go into like Verte or something like that. And then you can banish Chaos Summoning Beast to get the field spell. Fallen Paradise. And that'll let you draw two. And then just off of two cards, you have 4,000 Beat Stick. You have Protection. And then you have um, a draw two with Fallen Paradise. And if you went into Verte, you would have had... You would have Birch on field, send the requirements for Dragoon, and then you have Dragoon on field. 
and you would have just had two more cards in hand because you just draw two, whatever your two cards may be. So that's the main play you're going to see with DDD, or with Sacred Beast, I mean, um, to extend your plays and kind of beef up your board and give you extra link material and stuff like that. Um, and as mentioned before, you can go into that combo with a couple of different things. If you have Chaos Summoning Beast in hand and uh, Spirit Gates, you would do first you do Spirit Gates to add Dark Beckoning to get the other one. Then you would Normal Summon Dark Beckoning. Dark Beckoning second effect lets you Normal Summon again. So first effect on Normal Summon, you will search Hammond. You get Hammond. And then you'll Normal Summon Chaos Summoning Beast, Tribute, Bam, do it all over again. And that's your thing. Uh, what I really like, well, one weakness is if if I get drolled anywhere in this, it sucks because then I'm not I can't search anything else and that I, that that was like two like all three of these cards search. Well, I'm sorry, two of these cards search, and then the Fallen Paradise is a draw too. So droll stops you from drawing cards. So droll is kind of dangerous to deal with. So if you could run three called by, I, I would, but you can't. Um, so I, I may be looking into more uh, support that lets me protect myself from stuff like that. Um, call by would deal with it. Otherwise, I'll have to negate or stuff like that. Um, so let me put all this together, and I'll show some combos and kind of what you can do with the with the deck. Mm -mm. Gonna try. And, uh, I've been playing a lot of offline uh, tournaments, which is new for me because I just jumped into the scene. Um, but I've been timing out a lot. And then we'll end up drawing because normally it's a first to two or best out of three set. If you time out whatever the score is, whoever has the most life wins. So I've been getting draws and, and situations I could win if I could if I had the opportunity to continue playing. But because I search a lot, it's um kind of time consuming and um, learning combos and stuff too or big big brain plays kind of gets in the way of stuff. Um, give this a real good shuffle. Or even I'll be shuffling at the start of the match, and I'm like, no, I don't have the time to shuffle all this stuff. Um, let's see. So what I'm gonna hope to show you is at least the draw two combo for uh, Sacred Beast, and then the uh, just how it synergizes with uh, DDD to give you a good idea of what I'm talking about and why I liked it. Because first off, I really like Hammond. I think he's such a cool card. Um, but also, uh, their synergy really is impeccable. So um, let's say this is turn one, I'll draw five. So turn one, this is my hand. So I have Gate, Perry, Savant, uh, Moonlight, and Kepler. So this is combo. Kind of wonky, because we got two Keplers, but that's okay. So you'll see what I mean. Actually, even Moonlight is a zero attack monster that, that gets synergy. Um, so I'm going to do Parry Raise first. I will pay 4,000, which is half my attack, to search a monster with zero attack. I'm going to search Dark Beckoning Beast, and that's our combo. Graveyard. So for uh, Normal Summon Dark Beckoning Beast, I'm going to search... I'm going to search... Um, Chaos Summoning Beast. I'm going to activate Spirit of Gates to search Hammond. Do I normal summon Chaos Summoning Beast? Tribute Chaos Summoning Beast, Hammond. And that's exactly what I'm talking about. This would have been, um. Actually. So, yeah, I, um. I have the. Let's do that a different way. So, this is what I was talking about. So, I have the zeros in my hand right and i have a hammond because I, let's say i didn't do what i just did if i go into i take this time to go into verte well actually there's a there's so many different ways to do this and i'm still working out the kinks of all this but you could take this time to go into verte and then you can um actually that's wrong too so oh my god well i don't want to say it's wrong but this is where the plays get very, you can go any which way with it. So um, 
you have two monsters on field. You have these zeros in hand, and these monsters with zero attack can be special summoned with spirit gates. It doesn't lock into a sacred beast. So let's just say I tribute Chaos Summoning Beast will go Hammond, and then I will, and before I banish Chaos Summoning Beast, I have to have a monster with zero attack to be able to use the effect of opening the spirit gates. I'm going to discard Savant, target Savant to special summon Savant in defense position to search on its special summon. I'm going to search contract with the gate. So this depends on how you like to play. After you search gate, you can use gate now to get the card you want specifically, or you can try your luck with their draw two and get whatever comes to you and then search whatever you don't have. Um, so I'll banish Chaos Summoning Beast, and I will get the field spell. Only run one of the field spell. I think I, yeah, only run one of the field spell. I think it may be worth running two, if ever it gets destroyed. But right now I'll just run one. So we have one Fallen Paradise, and I'm not gonna search with Gate yet. I'm gonna wait. So I'm gonna. Ah! Just drop cards. I'm not gonna search just yet. I'm gonna wait and then search whatever I need after. Let's see. So activate Fallen Paradise. I'm going to draw two. And I got another Dark Beckoning Beast and I got Triple Attack Talents. So not the best draw. It does give me, you know, protection and allows me to start up another combo next turn. But so I'm going to activate Dark Contract with the gate. And I'm going to, let's see, I'll, uh, I'm going to search Slime. And then, here's what we will. I actually would really have liked to get, um. If I have gotten like Lamia or Necro Slime, or even Lamia or Copernicus, Copernicus to allow me to search Lamia, uh, Copernicus to send Lamia, but that's okay. Um, so I'm going to go, I'm gonna Link Summon. The board's kind of messed up, but just hang tight with me, okay? <laughs> I'm going to link summon to go into Cross Sheep. Cross Sheep's effect lets me special summon from the graveyard whenever a uh, fusion monster is special summon. I'm going to use Slime and Kepler to fusion summon. There's not too many plays I can go into because I don't have a tuner. But I'll go... Uh, Actually, this is very interesting. I don't run Gus King High Alexander. <laughs> well, actually, I do, I do run High High King Alexander. Um, but the, I was thinking about I can send, I can special summon Ghost Chill from my hand with a proxy. But so we'll, let's do. Let's just say we go into uh, Oracle. We can retrieve her later to give us some uh, life points back, and then bring back Beckoning Beast. This goes here. And then from there, we can go into Verte. Pay the costs and all the stuff to the graveyard, get Dragoon. And then we have a triple attack talents and hand trap. Not bad, not bad. So we'll do another one. Shooby dooby. Yeah, so even if you don't get all of the cards you need for your specific combo for either one of them, Sacred Beast helps out with DDD. And then if you do get all the Sacred Beast stuff, you can search your DDD stuff. So let me see. So let's, this, this will be a turn two. One, two, three, four, five, six. So I have Shifter, 
Imperm, Dark Beckoning Beast, Summoning Beast, Contract of the Gate, and Red Eyes Fusion for Dragoon. I don't actually want to pull Dragoon. Um, have this card in hand because when I use Verte, I can use Verte to special summon even if I have a full board. With Red Eyes Fusion, when you use Red Eyes Fusion, you can't normal summon the turn you play this card. So this would actually not be good. <coughs> Excuse me. Let me check Verte's effect. Yeah, in Virtue's effect, you have to send that spell from your graveyard. So if I have one Red Eyes Fusion, I can't go into Verte and get Dragoon and have my whole board set up. Kind of sucks. Um, but I can set up a bomb ass turn too. Um, I could. Uh, if you really wanted to, you could activate Dimensional Shifter and then you can Red Eyes Fusion. Get Dragoon. I don't, I don't too much care if Red Eyes or Dark Magician get banished. They'll get banished. And then set one for Imperm. And then you'll have this for turn two. But uh, let's keep going. So uh, let's say... What is this? This is still... Let's just ignore the fact that I, some, I got Red Eyes Fusion. Well, you know, let's not ignore it. It'll happen, you know, it's whatever. We'll just play around it. Um... That's what if that's you could go into red eyes fusion do all that stuff and end your turn, um, but let's say we do combo, we'll do dark summoning beast to search spirit gates. <laughs> it's so funny they're both at the top of my deck. <coughs> Excuse me. So I'll do spirit gates. To search Hammond, and then I will normal summon Chaos Summoning Beast, and then I will tribute Chaos Summoning Beast to get Lord of the Striking Thunder, and then I will do Dark Contract with the Gate, and I'm gonna. This is where I'm gonna show kind of like some synergy. I'm gonna look up. I'm gonna grab Copernicus. And then I'm going to discard Copernicus, target Copernicus, special summon Copernicus to send uh, a Lamia to the graveyard. And then I will banish Chaos Summoning Beast to go for Fallen Paradise, the field spell. Then we'll activate Fallen Paradise to draw two. Let me shuffle this up a little bit. Should be, do be. Alright, draw two with Fallen Paradise. And it's Triple Tag Talents and Grave Digger's Trap Hole. So, pretty good. I mean, Triple Tag, Grave Digger, Infinite and Shifter. And then Red Eyes Fusion for next turn. Really solid hand, honestly, for just for if if you make it out of this. So, um, so we can't go red eyes because we don't have more than one red eyes fusion in the grave in our deck. I may consider that, and then. That's a. I would probably just set two, and then pass. Um, yeah. Well, actually, I can do stuff like okay, so I can go. I can special summon Lamia by sending Great Gate to the graveyard. I don't have Halk. Um. 
But if I did, <laughs> I could probably do something fun. I could probably go Hulk, and then to bring out another Lamia, and then I could go Proxy. But so I don't. I'm not gonna make do stuff that I don't have right now to help me with those stuff I do have right now. I'm gonna go. Um, this is. I would consider this overextending. Um, we'll go Gilgamesh. So that's Lamia gets banished. Copernicus gets sent to the extra deck face up. So we get to set scales. I'm going to set one Ragnarok. And then. Worn Orthos. I like having Orthos in scale. Um. And then you could link summon Copernicus. I mean, Pendulum summon Copernicus back. But you're locked into um, DDD monsters from there because of Gilgamesh, the effect. I also would take a thousand because of its effect. But that's an option. Yeah. I'm just thinking about. Um, I think I may look more into plays with uh, tuners and synchros to see what I can do. I do have, no, I don't have Ghost Chill in this hand. Because if I had Ghost Chill, I could have done seven. Because Gus King Alexander doesn't discriminate. I think it's a, yeah, with Gus Alexander, I need one DD tumor. Oh, so I do need a, yeah, I can do it with Chill, never mind. But if I had, um, that's four, five, six. High King doesn't discriminate. Yeah. High King lets you do... No, uh, it doesn't matter. if The D, the tuner doesn't have to be uh, DDD. So let's do one more combo. And then we'll be good. I think. So then we're at 30 minutes. <laughs> it's a pretty long video if you ask me. But we'll get better at this as time goes on. So I'm not tripping. Um. And helps me to like know what I have for future thing in my bobbers. Oh, I keep dropping cards. Shooby dooby. First one was kind of, uh, cause I got, this is hot. Dude, I got Red Eyes and Dark Magician. That's gross. <coughs> That's okay. Um, actually it's not okay. That's mad disgusting. Um, talk about having to like play your hand just to see what the vibe is. Um, so I know I'm going into Virtue at the end of this. We're not Virtue, I mean, I'm sorry, I'm in a... Yeah, I am going to Virtue, Dragoon. So, um, we didn't get the three-card combo we would want to have. Technically, I think I'm going to go Normal Summon Kepler to search Gate. And then this is my hand. So, I will activate Gate to get... I think I'm gonna get Copernicus. Yeah, we'll get Copernicus. And then I have Foolish Burial. I'm either Foolish Ragnarok or Foolish uh, Necro Slime. Oops. I'm gonna tighten that. Okay, cool. Because no matter what, we want Lamia. And we don't want to have to special summon her with her effect. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Mm. Dang. I don't know if 
if I should have done that. Hmm. Yeah, I don't think I... I should have got a Swirl Slime. Because then I could have did the Necro Slime from the Graveyard, but that's okay. Because we want to be able to... So we'll Foolish Burial. And we're going to go... So this is something I actually need to check. With Swamp King's effect, I'm unsure if they go to the graveyard or the extra deck. Necro slime. Mm. And if we go contract with the gate, and we go Lamia and Kepler. Mm. Yeah, I think I was supposed. Yeah, so I don't want a foolish. Necro. I want a foolish swirl slime. So a foolish swirl slime, I can get Copernicus to send Necro. So we're gonna fusion summon Genghis. And then we're going to banish slime to special summon Copernicus. Copernicus will send to the graveyard. So chain link um so this is how you can, this could technically be a situation where you could like chain block maybe. So let's say the opponent has Ash in their hands. If they have Ash in their hand, Ash says if the opponent adds a card from the deck, special summons from the deck, or sends a card from the deck to the graveyard. So you wanna do chain link one Copernicus, chain link two Genghis to stop them from using Ash on the send the card from the deck to the graveyard. So then we're gonna special summon Lamia with chain link two, chain link one. We're going to send the Necro Slime to the graveyard. Then from here we're going to synchro summon uh, a seven. Oh, this is extra deck. We're gonna synchro summon level seven Gus King Alexander. And then from Gus King Alexander, we are going to this few then you link summon into a this your combo would depend on whether you have monsters in your hand you want to use or monsters in your graveyard. Because you can either go cross sheep or you can go proxy. I'm gonna go link cross sheep. And then I'm going to Activate Necro Slime's effect to banish Genghis and him to special summon. We're gonna go High King Genghis. And then we're going to use its effect to bring back Lamia. Then special summon with Genghis' effect, Gus King Alexander. With Gus King Alexander's effect, we shall then. There's two different ways you can go into this. You can either go into Siegfried or you can go into um, Crystal Wing for your troubles. I go into Crystal Wing. It also lets you negate a uh, monster effect, um, which is nice. <coughs> Excuse me. Pardon my French. And then, so we have this card and this card. So from here, it depends on how cheeky you want to get. Um, in hand, I'll have Dark Magician and Red Eyes. So I don't really have extenders there. Um, so I'm going to... Let's say I then... This sucks because 
if I send these two cards to the graveyard for the fusion summon for Dragoon, I can't negate anything with Dragoon or for Dragoon's effect. Um, it really blows. Um, but you can go into more plays. So let's say we don't go Dragoon this turn. Let's say we special summon Lamia by sending... Um, I don't get too much use out of Swamp King. We'll only have one. We'll do a gate, because I can always search gate another day. And let's say we go uh, Ragnarok. And we go for another Orthos. If you have, I think, DDD Rage, you could shoot, uh, Pendulum Summon Savant, but I don't have him. And then let's say we go... We're going to Pendulum Summon Copernicus. This gets banished. Dude, that sucks. We're going to Pendulum Summon um, Ragnar uh, Copernicus. Yeah, I actually would not want to do that play at all. That's not a good play. Because Lamia gets sent to the graveyard. Hmm. I'm seeing a lot of sticky situations here and i understand why people run halk it lets me get more lamias or more tuners mm. or even if i oh my gosh so if you have halk when halk how can you one tuner one normal mon or one effect monster summon halk halk lets you special summon a tuner from your level three or lower tuner so that lets me get another lamia if i had ghost whenever ghost is into the graveyard <coughs> <clears throat> excuse me it lets you send another d copy of a dd card to the graveyard i can send another lamia or whatever into the graveyard yeah so i yeah tough 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 okay let's keep it pushing but that's that's this video it was nice to talk it over and kind of see different stuff so more links would be nice i think Hawk will be cool. Um, I have Hawk in my basket to purchase. I just haven't bought him yet. Um, so we'll see. But thank you so much for watching. Until next time, goodbye.